Hello everyone, welcome to Sully's Card Shop, and today I'm just going to show you what my personal collection looks like, how I collect, what I've got, uh, how cards move through my collection, and so forth, because it can be a little bit of a fluid type of collection. Uh, a lot of my cards start out in the rookie folder, uh, before they establish themselves as stars. Maybe these guys didn't win Rookies of the Year, maybe they weren't MVPs yet, but they are trying, trying, trying to establish themselves. I start out with the year 2013 all the way through 2020. So you have Renato Nunez and Corey Seager all the way down to guys like Brandon Lau and um, and Carter Keyboom and so forth. So these guys can progress or they can fall off. And if they fall off, well, then, of course, they're naturally removed from the folder and put in my comments boxes. Anyhow, if they do become stars, though, they move over here into this folder. I've got three of these folders. These are all done alphabetically, starting at Jose Abreu and going all the way. I believe Christian Yelich is the last one in the, in the last folder. But this one is A through G, so it's got Abreu and Guerrero and Cabrera and so forth. He has Vlad Guerrero's in here. Gleyber Torres is in one of the folders. I figure these guys are pretty much established stars, even though they have just a few years in the league or, or one year in the league. I'm going to go on ahead and preserve them in this folder so I know exactly where to find them. Once they retire, if they maintain a strong career and seem like they're they're going places, they'll be right here in the, this Hall of Fame ballot folder. These guys are not yet on the ballot. They're waiting to get there. So guys like Carlos Beltran and uh, David Ortiz are in here. I usually try to start out each sheet that I do with their rookie cards or their first year cards or all-star rookie cards, whatever it is. Um, so then these guys go on and they get voted on. If they are lucky enough, they can get into the Hall of Fame. And I have about, I want to say about 15 or 16 Hall of Fame folders, all done alphabetically, of course, so it's easier to find things. This is my letter C, so I've got Carew and Campanella and Cochran and so forth. I love to collect these cards, inserts, whatever they are. Uh, Tony Gwynn is my favorite. I'll show you all that, that collection another time. But, uh, so they get into the Hall of Fame folder. If they stay on the ballot, they don't get in yet, but they're still on the ballot, they will go into this folder right here. So guys like Bobby Abreu, who will be on the ballot again this next year, Roger Clemens, of course, Barry Bonds is in here, all done naturally, alphabetically. Okay, now these folders, some of these are not actual baseball card folders, by the way. They're the folders with the big um, clips, whatever these things are called. I'm totally just drawing a blank right now. But anyhow, notice that it's easier on the sheets with this right here. These are on the, protects the cards a little better than any of those, the round ones that you normally see. Anyhow, if for some reason they get through the ballot 10 years or whatever, and they don't get voted in, but yet they are talked about as, as being Hall of Famers and just waiting for the Veterans Committee, they go into this folder right here. So you've got guys like Dick Allen, uh, Bruce Bochy, who I think will be in at some point, uh, Kenny Lofton has mentioned uh, uh, many times, many Minosos in here, Dwight Evans. These guys are sort of your veterans committee uh, folders or cards that I have that at some point perhaps they'll wind up moving into the Hall of Fame folders, which, you know, Ted Simmons was in here. He's moved in there. Harold Baines, he's moved in there. So here it seems like lately the, the veterans committees have been more lenient, I guess, with some of these more established guys. Don Mattingly is in this folder, Mark McGuire. So there's a few of those guys that I think at some point will be able to get into the Hall of Fame. So these are the general folders. I have a few other different kinds of folders that I'll be uh, showing you guys at some other points, some other different kinds of collections. But of course, the Hall of Fame is is my main uh, my main goal. The main thing that I like to collect is, is the Hall of Fame. So uh, these guys, that is that is their their pursuit. I do have some, like, like I said, some side PCs that I'll I'll show you uh, here very soon. But um, anyhow, so that, that's how I collect. That's a method to my, my madness. So when you see me breaking open cards and so forth, breaking open packs or things that I order online from eBay or whatever, and you see what I'm getting, that is, that's what I'm looking at. So guys that are in the Hall of Fame or are on their way to the Hall of Fame, those are, uh, that's my PC. So kind of large, kind of a, a big thing. I can say I have a PC for Carlos Beltran and I have a PC for Tony Gwynn and I have a PC for this guy and that guy. But uh it's just fun. I, I absolutely enjoy it. I've enjoyed it now for however long. Since 1987, I've been collecting off and on. So uh, this is, uh, what, 33 years of collecting. So um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time in Sully's Card Shop.